when all said and done, I actually think the Giants had a good season, and there's real reason to believe moving forward with this group. I think they had a weird season. I, I think I, I know I know what you mean. I don't quite see it the way you do, but I, I do know what you mean. The, the problem, though, is even if I was to agree, and, and I'm not going to agree, I'm going to disagree, but if I was, I would say, all right, I had a good season. Okay, who's the quarterback week one next year? What about the old line? They've got the same dilemma, Sal, with Saquon next year, only amplified because he's a year older. And and I know what CeeLo just said about uh, Wink Martindale. They got a real issue there. That's a personality conflict between the head coach and the D.C. And I'll tell you what, the, the best story of the year, I, I think inarguably, DeVito, it's already expired. Look what, the, where they came. I mean, you were talking about like they're going to be a two-win team all year long, an embarrassment. We were both talking about it like it was one of the worst, emba- most embarrassing seasons yep. that we've seen, comparing it to McAdoo Fizz and Shermer and Joe Judge and all that stuff. And then they ride the ship. You know, Daniel Jones gets hurt, and other teams lose their quarterbacks and, and you know do well, so that's not really the excuse. But the way that they were getting their doors blown off seemingly week in, week out, then to look at the way that they kind of midway through right at their season with DeVito, winning a few games in a row there, being competitive. I mean, beating the Packers in the process, which is a huge win. Packers, a postseason team, of course, competitive against the Eagles on Christmas Day, should have beaten the Rams, another playoff team, beat the Eagles. When you look at what the Giants did in circumstances, BT, which like, I mean, make a case where it's going to be worse for the Giants. Mm. Hey, they were without Barkley for a while. Guys getting banged up. The offensive line never healthy. Without their starting quarterback. Without their backup quarterback. You can argue that this is going to be as as bad as it's going to get for the New York Giants. Yet they still won six games and were competitive with pieces off the scrap heap. So I think this is actually a good season. Now, if I were to say before the year, oh, 6-11, would you sign for that? Absolutely not. But watching the way the year played out. I think it's a good season for the Giants. Uh, listen, I understand that there's there's context, and uh, too often context is is kind of lost here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think when you contextualize it that way, I think I think some people will agree with you. I mean, this early on had the optics of an absolute train wreck, man. You got sliced up 40 zip in week one. You know, I mean, the start in Arizona week two was a disaster. All right, you stabilized. The Jones played great, and then we know what happened from there. But I look at it this way. To me... And I'm going to use a betting analogy. Now, you're open about this, right? And honestly, the Giants have the Giants hurt you this right. year. Right? Okay. Yeah. So, if you're down five, I'll just throw out a whole number. Mm-hmm. $5,000. All right? You're down $5,000. Right. You're betting. The hole keeps getting, you know, a little, mm-hmm. little, little deeper. Oh, God, I lost again. Oh, God, I lost again. Oh, God. Right. I'm down 42. I'm down 48. Oh, I'm down Chasing. five Gs. Yeah. Down five Gs. You get a little hot. You go on a little streak. And you finish up the year, you're down 3,600. Did you have a good year? See, the answer is no. But you'd rather have that than be well, down I, five. I'd rather I mean, be up 5,000. Yeah, oh, I'd course. rather be up 1,000. But things change. So, yeah, instead of being down 5,000, I'd rather be down 3,600 or whatever yeah, the number but, is. But you, you know, know what I mean? I, I That's why the answer is probably somewhere in between. I, I just can't get on board saying they had a good season. They won six games. The future, though, is in good hands with Joe Shane and Brian Dable, and that was something that was in question throughout the course of this year where you think about how bad it could have been. And again, a six-win season, generally never good. But the way that this whole year went, I mean, geez, the Giants started out, what, 1-8 and eight or whatever it was, 2-8? and eight? I mean, they, they beat the, the Cardinals. They lose Daniel Jones. I mean, they had two wins through the, the Cowboys game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about two wins in the first 10 weeks, 11 weeks of the season. I mean, that, that is as bad as it gets. One of the worst teams, no doubt about it, in the NFL. And then there became the respectability, the credibility that Dable gave this team. I like and, Dable. And, yeah, I do. I, well, I believe in him, too. I do. I like Dable. Yeah, man, that, and that's kind of why, like, you, it, it's all relative to expectation, but the expect changes. The expectation changed significantly in the season. I think if you wake up today, you feel proud. If you're a New York Giant fan, you feel excited and hopeful. Obviously disappointed with the ultimate outcome. You're not going to be in the postseason. Yep. But proud that they finally beat the Eagles and they beat them good. 
Uh, and an Eagles team was trying to win the game. No, I mean, no question. The Giants are there with a backup quarterback. Yep. And Gi- Eagles trying to win the game. Giants beat them, and they beat them good. Eagles are also cooked. But I, yeah, I hear you. I, the they, Giants had to prove they could close the Barkley, gap with the Eagles. Barkley looked terrific. Yep. And, and by the way, I think he's going to be back. I know this is a story for another day. They're going to hit him with a franchise tag. Oh, I mean, even the way Joe Shane was talking this morning about it. But – the point is, I feel good if I'm a Giant fan because of Shane and Dable and because they were able to handle the adversity that they did throughout the course of this year and come out the other end of it okay. All right, a couple of quick questions for you. Number one, week one, who's the quarterback? It's going to be Daniel Jones. Okay, put down Jones. Okay. Number two, do you like the offensive line? I know it's stabilized a bit. Do you like it? Well, I mean, it's going to change going into the year. Uh, okay. uh, going it's into been next changing season. for 10 no, years. No, to answer your stinks. question, no, I don't. But I do like the the offensive scheme, and I believe that Dable will do enough with Kafka, whether he's here or not. The, see, they're smart enough to where they can make up for it. The offensive line hasn't been a main theme here since the Giants have been winning some of these games. It was Tommy DeVito, Tyrod Taylor coming back, Saquon Barkley. Offensive line looked pretty good yesterday against a team that we all said the disparity between the Giants and Eagles in the trenches. Oh, forget about it. Or just in general. So okay, I okay. think it'll be okay. So you're a little more bullish on yeah. it than I And by the way, they might use that 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 top 10 pick on a line mm. that we'll see. But right. it's evolving. The point is right now it's not a plus. Um, or it's not an asset. You you think that Saquon's back? I don't. As a matter of fact, let, let me let me. Re- I don't think he should be. Mm-hmm. I don't know what they'll do. I don't think he should be, which I think is something else that's complicating the future. And, and t- you go back to the curl stuff. Uh, Kayvon Thibodeau, he's right. okay. He's okay. So a guy that you thought was going to be a game wrecker is okay. And I'm not sure that Wink is back. Like there's just. Again, I, I want you to understand, Sal. I hear you. I, mm-hmm. I truly do hear you. I got you. There's just too much that needs to be resolved. I can't get on the air after a six-win season with the questions. And, oh, yeah, by the way, the best story of the year, undeniably, Tommy DeVito might not even be on the team next year. So I, I just can't conjure up that kind of enthusiasm. I can't. BT and Sal on the fan. Our friends at Town Fair Tire remind you that at Town Fair Tire, you always get the guaranteed lowest price on name brand tires from Connecticut to Maine. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Patrick is in Melville. What's up, Patrick? Hey, guys. How you doing? What's up, Patrick? Great, great win yesterday. I'll take the uh, drop-in uh, draft uh, for beating the Eagles and sending the Eagles into a shaky uh, shaky playoff. So, yeah, 6 and 10, you, you, you can't say that we had a good season. No, I am saying it. We definitely, we definitely got the coach. Um, he stabilized the season. Now, um, you know, going into the future, you know, Saquon can't can't be back. I think that we kind of mortgage the future and keeping him. We should have traded him during the, the trade deadline. I mean, listen, I love Saquon Barkley. Um, you know, I would love him to be a lifetime giant, but you know, we we, we need to kind of, we need, we have so many holes that we need to uh, address. That um, he, he's just an asset that we just can't afford. To be totally honest, I know that a lot of Giant fans will probably disagree with me on that. But um, I think that, um, you know, going forward, we're probably going to keep Daniel Jones and probably draft the lineman, which ugh, I, I, I kind of it kind of makes me cringe to do that because we, we, we need a quarterback, but we're probably going to probably going to kick that can down the road. Um, but obviously, great win yesterday. And, you know, we're going to probably, um, you know, we'll see what we'll see what happens. So do you think that, the Giants but, had uh, a good we'll, season or a bad season? Listen, we. We, we, you know, it, it, it was a growing, it was a growing pain season. I think we got we, we we solidified that we got a coach. There you I mean, go. That's so a, that's, that's a good. Thing. And thank you for the call. That's the point. They had a good season because you know Brian Dable is the guy. You believe in Joe Shane. Two years, one playoff appearance, and one playoff win, and a year where everything went sideways for him. Anything that possibly could go wrong did go wrong. They came out the other end of it, avoiding total embarrassment, which they were direct head-on path toward direct embarrassment, and they came out the other end with showing that you know that they can be a competitive football team even under the worst of circumstances. Yeah, again, uh, my scale is is incorporating what happened the previous year. If you know Dable's first year, if they were two and fifteen or three and fourteen, you know the way they stabilized this year, I think I would, I would process it differently. And listen, last year was. On a lot of levels, an overachievement, kind of like the Mets two years ago, or at least an unexpected surge, and it kind of altered expectations, I think, unfairly. Remember, coming into the season, I, I didn't think they, they would be a two-season, uh, two-win team coming in. Thought they'd be around five, but then when they started the way they started, I'm like, this might be a two-three-win two, two three win team. 
So yes, that uh, that represents progress, but just remember this conversation. If you call it, and, and I respect where you're coming from, but if you're telling us that you think the Giants had a good season, just remember that, and let's get into week one when Daniel Jones is the quarterback. And let's see how enthused you are. And again, I love well, Saquon. I think, the, I think the Daniel Jones topic is a significant one, obviously, but it's for another day. Today, after week 18, like, it's over. There's no more you and I going back and forth, talking about the Jets and Giants and previewing games or getting excited about this or that, or will they win? Will they embarrass themselves? The seasons are over. We're not yep. going to see the Jets and Giants again until September. Thank but God. if I wait, yeah, well, Thank right, God. by a lot of measurements, yeah. And, and, of course, typical that the one week where maybe <laughs> fans would have been okay with both these teams losing, of course, they go out there and win, but... And that's a side element, too, where I think it was good if you're a fan of the Giants. Certainly, you're out there and enjoying yourself yesterday. I think you got to feel good if you're a Giant fan. And was it one of the great seasons of all time? No. But when you actually think about what they accomplished in a year where everything went wrong, the fact that they were able to right the ship and level out a little bit and get themselves to six wins. Let me ask you this, Sal. I mean, how many wins did you expect them to have coming into the year? Uh, about five. About five. And, and that's a lot lower than most. It was, admittedly. So, and, and then in season, it was even going to be worse. So they exceeded that. Like, yeah, I think their number was eight for the year. Win total, if I'm not mistaken. Around there. Uh, and it they, was less than the nine that they won the previous right. year. It was and, slightly below that for and sure. And think yeah. about it. And they finished with six. Uh-huh. And they did so by beating the Eagles. It was a big talk about the division, whatever. They swept the Commanders, which was nice. I know Dallas, big disparity there. But still, they, they could have beaten the Eagles twice. They were that competitive in that game. Could have had another win and should have had another win over the Rams, a playoff team. Did beat the Packers, a playoff team. Like, the Giants did a lot of good. They should have beaten the Jets. And again, should have, could. I, I understand all that. But when you actually look at the total picture with all that went wrong, it to me, it's a lot. it was a lot better than it could have been. I think it was a bad, it was a bad meal, and you threw a little flavoring on it, you know, right when you took it out of the microwave. And it's like, all right, I'm hungry. I'll, I'll eat anything. It's, I'm not eating crap. Like, I'm literally, you know what I mean? Right. Like, that's... I just, I don't know. I'm, I just, I don't see it that way. Let me ask you this. Outside of Brian Dable, what's the best part of this team? Like, so the 2024, and I know they'll add to it, the 2024 mm-hmm. Giants are built on Well, I mean, I think, I think a quarterback defense. with a bad contract and a bum knee, a running back who's, you know, odometer's getting higher, and by the way, he's never won anything, um, a, a fifth overall pick who's not as good as people thought. In Cape, what are they built on? Well, I think the head coach is a big part of, of of the reason, if not the main reason, why I think that they had a good season. Shane and Dable, I trust those two. And they do have young talent on the football field on both sides of the ball. The biggest part is they're going to need a quarterback. That that Now, they have to decide who's going to be that guy. Are they going to take one with the sixth overall selection? Are they going to trade up? Is it going to be Daniel Jones again next year? They're going to roll that back. But I do believe in this Giants team. Do they have a true identity yet? I don't think so outside of Brian Dable. But you know what? With Brian Dable there, I like that identity. Steven is in Brooklyn. What's up, Steven? Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, I don't think it's a, about a good season or a bad season. I think after, you know, Jones went down with that knee, the season was over. But for me, my point being an optimistic Giant fan they kept the season together. Our head coach, uh, GM, spoke midway through. And uh, the biggest thing to answer some of your questions, BT, mm-hmm. Jones is our quarterback next year. If they didn't think about bringing Saquon back, they're smart enough. They always like to get into a GM's mind. They would have gotten rid of Saquon like they got rid of Williams for a second-round pick. So I feel Jones will be there. Um Saquon will be back. And just realize, this morning, the two biggest concerns, they got rid of their – they fired their special teams coach yeah. and they fired their offensive line coach. So you see where teams – where they're making mistakes, where they're trying to get better. And I'm optimistic to know that we're going in the right direction. Six-round pick, see what happens. I like Jones. No, 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 Steve, hold on a second, Steve. Got, Steve, by the way, yep. the, Steve, you lay that out logically. You're right. You guys are going in the right direction. Don't say it was a good season. Those are two very no, different I, things. I apologize. I didn't say it was – I was saying it's not a good season or a bad season. Gotcha. I just like that we we got it – we kept it together. Okay. No, because I respect that. Think, yep, yep. Yep. I do respect that. think of the other regimes that we had yeah. with Joe Judge. And uh, all, it was just, just toxic at the end of the year. True. And we – we yeah. And I'm just happy where we are right now. And I think it's going to be – I think we're going to be fine. There you go, Steve. Thank you for the call, all Steve. Right. And that's kind of the sentiment. Again, nobody's out here taking bows for the Giants. You they just had, but when you look at it in total, 
my God, it could have been a lot, a lot worse for the Giants. And they ride the ship. They were competitive. A win against the Eagles goes a long way, too. I don't care that the Eagles are down now. So what? So when the Eagles are up, it's, oh, yeah, look at the disparity. Now it's like, yeah, but the Eagles are dead anyway. Well, bull crap. The Eagles are a playoff team. I mean, look at what the Giants did against some playoff teams here. They beat the Packers, okay. and they beat the Eagles just more recently. They should have beaten the Rams if Tyrod Taylor didn't have a, a, a brain lock on the two-point conversion. Mm-hmm. And even more than that, they had opportunities to win that game anyway from the Rams. They were competitive with the Eagles on Christmas Day. I mean, the the... The Giants righted the ship for a season that was going off. It wasn't even going. It was off the rails. Off the rails. And we then debated about whether they'd be better off tanking or losing, whether they should right the ship and win. And they went out there and they showed you. This was one in the win column for those who say go out there and try to win every game and be competitive and have that being building a foundation going into next year. That's exactly what they did, BT. So keep in mind, so they have six wins, right? That's the optimistic mm-hmm. slant. You know, and, and my volley back is of the six wins, uh, two were against the, a team that's drafted in second overall in the Commanders, and another one is against a team that's going to draft fourth in right. the Cardinals. So, I mean... Well, and the Patriots, you could throw that one in there, too. The Patriots picking yeah. third. Yeah, oh, no, I get I mean, it. So, four out of the six wins were against the worst teams in the NFL. Right, I think you look at it more so, not even just the win total, the, the way that they played against the Eagles, against the Rams, and doing it against the Packers. Would have been more last year. Not coming off a playoff right. appearance, I'm sorry. Right, but the fact that they did it even without really, a, not even really, they don't have a quarterback. Mm-hmm. I mean, they did it without a quarterback. A lot of teams lost quarterbacks. A lot of teams kept it together. Yeah, well, but that's what I mean. I think that they did. I yeah, but I'm saying other teams together. kept, like, like, look at the if you Bengals. Expected them, if you expected them, like, how many more wins do you think they would have had if they had Daniel Jones? I don't think they were built to do it. To, I, I, that's, that's why I didn't point. like him coming in. Right, but that's my point. So if you thought they were going to be a 5-1 team coming in, 5-6-1 yeah. team coming in, with all that went on, you'd be like, oh, my God. We did say it. Oh, two, three wins. No. They were able to stabilize and still get back to six wins. I think that that says something. I just feel good about the Giants' direction. Again, as good as you can feel coming off of a season that went the way that it did. Like, by almost every account, you could say, oh, this is a total disappointment. But when you look at actually now what happened, now that it's over and look back and say, hey, you know what? They were at least competitive. Dable showed stability and gave you reason to believe in this team moving forward. I'd be excited if I'm a Giant fan. Sadly, you know, a little sad that the season is over. Disappointed, certainly, by the end result. No playoff game. But ultimately, I'm excited. BT and Sal on the fan. We'll continue with your calls. We'll get to the Jets a little bit later on. 